G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And today I thought we could do my empties. Now I've only got this small little basket here today, but don't be fooled, there is quite a few products. I think I have about 19 products all together to talk to you guys about today, but a lot of them are in either travel sizes or sample packs or I've actually decluttered them to somebody else. So I have still put those decluttered items, classified them as an empty because well, I don't have enough stuff to declutter. I don't buy enough stuff to make a declutter video. Um, I thought today um, I will do my empties with you guys and just sit back, relax, chill. But what I need you guys to remember, if I don't like the products, that doesn't necessarily mean that the products are bad. They just don't work for me and my skin type, which is dry, you know, a little bit eczema prone, a little bit sensitive, a little bit aged. We're dealing with 34 year old skin here with a lot of fine lines, a lot of different sort of pigmentation issues and a couple of pimples here and there. But for the most part, I'm just very dry, sensitive and eczema prone. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Welcome back guys. So the first product I want to talk to you guys about, I don't actually have on me at the moment. I actually have decluttered this. I've handed this one down to my uh, stepdaughter and that is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum or Boom Boom Cream. But also, I mean, I, I got the little pack that has the small um, cream and the um, foreplay, I think, body wash and also like a, uh, not the perfume, but like the body spray. And um, I brought that pack because I I wanted to try it, but I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it. And I originally was going to get that big um, that big jar, and I'm glad I didn't because uh, although this is going to be uh, probably an unpopular opinion, I didn't like it. Um, look, I I haven't seen one bad review of this. Boom Boom Cream or Bum Bum Cream and I think I think that's because you either love or you hate it and I think that when you love something you're inclined to pump out a video, you're excited about it, you want to talk about it um, but when you don't like it, I mean unless it's like extremely horrible and your face breaks open, like you know something really extreme you generally don't get around to making a video about something that you personally don't like you know unless there's something seriously wrong with the product um, so if you do hear about somebody not liking a product, like for example me with the Boom Boom Cream, you'll see it in a favourites and fails video. You won't necessarily see a dedicated video pretty much saying Boom Boom Cream review and it being bad, you know. Um, so like I said, the, the cream and just the scent really, let's just talk about the scent. Um, as I said before, you either really love or hate this and I have a very, very sensitive nose. I get headaches pretty much 90% of the um, perfumes that are out there and unfortunately this one is very very heavily scented and I've got to say that it is a very unique smell and I can understand why a lot of people absolutely love it and when you do use it you know you're wearing it I mean this smell lingers it's very very strong it's very over scented so when you're using the body wash for example you'll still smell it on your skin six hours later when you use the um, the body cream you're definitely going to smell it on your skin and I personally not only do I have a um, a reaction like I get a headache from it, it's just too strong for me but I also don't like the smell so the product itself I think is fine I didn't have any physical reactions to the shower gel or the um, the cream or anything like that. I just, it's too strong for me and I just didn't like the scent, so it's just not up my alley. So unfortunately, um, whilst I don't think the product is bad, it's just not for me and I would suggest that if you're going to try something like this, because it's not cheap, um, if you can get in store or if you can maybe get a sample size or just go the cheaper option like I did, which still wasn't really cheap. I mean, I got those three sort of travel sizes for $40 Australian, so, um, and that was not including postage. So if you do have somebody who might enjoy it, um, I'd, I'd go with that first before you even try buying the bigger ones, otherwise you're going to be left with this big tub of stuff that you just can't use anywhere. I mean, I could not find a way to use that for anything else. It's just too strong for me. So it's unfortunate, but that's my first empty. We're going to go on to the next one, which is two um, masks actually from the uh, company, is this one? Yeah, from the company Jinju. I actually did a... Um, reviews on, I think I did reviews on both of these. So the first one I want to talk to you about is this um, uh, Ginseng and Eucalyptus Under the Eye Mask. 
Um, I put this on and immediately I started feeling tingling under my eyes and I started to go into a panic because as I said, I've got very sensitive skin that includes underneath my eyes. And this one says that you need to leave it on for 20 or 30 minutes, which is usually longer than what you would normally leave an under eye mask on anyway. It's usually around about the 15, 20 minute mark. Um, so I left this one on. I think I left this one on for about 15, maybe 20 minutes before I started to panic and I took them off. Um, but there was no reaction underneath. So I think I just jumped the gun a little bit. I will say that it reduced my puffiness. It made my under eyes feel fantastic. My skin loved it. I think there's just something in there that is supposed to feel like that. I'm not sure, but there was no reddening. There was no allergic reaction or anything like that. So um, maybe it was just like how peppermint can sort of give you that tingling feeling. I don't know. Maybe ginseng does that as well. I'm not sure. But I actually do like these, and I'm probably going to buy some more. Um, the brand Jinju is a Korean skincare company, and I think you can pick these um, products up from um Coles supermarkets possibly even Priceline I'm not sure but the next one I wanted to talk to you guys about is the same company but this is the Panda Face Sheet Mask and um, while I enjoyed the results that I had after this the next day, I didn't actually enjoy wearing this mask because um, because they've decided to do the panda face, they've actually done like a panda shape. So the mask is really large and the ears go up in your hair. It's very awkward to put this mask on and I do love the results like I said but with the fucking around putting it all over your face. I'm actually going to try something else, a different type of mask from the company because I do enjoy their products, but I just, this mask was not fun to use. Um, it, I don't know. It, it was nice. It definitely did do something, but um, it's just too much of a pain in the butt. So let's move on to our next product, and that is the Body Shop Strawberry Body Butter. I've got this little tub here, used it all up. I ended up using this all over the body. Um, well, it is a body butter and that's what you're supposed to do with it. But um, I sort of rushed through this because this is that sort of like, um, it, oh, it's definitely fake strawberry. You know, most strawberry, strawberry is, but this is like those um, strawberry and cream lollies, uh, but a little bit faker. I don't know if that's possible, but I don't love the smell of this one. I usually use the... Um, the Shea Butter one because that's pretty much the only one I really like out of the entire range that they've got, at least at the moment anyway. Um, but yeah, this one, I don't know. It, it still works. The formula is perfect, but I don't love the smell of this one. So I definitely won't be repurchasing this one, but I definitely will be repurchasing more Buddy Butters from the Body Shop. But I won't pay full price for them either. They usually have sales throughout the year, um, especially at Christmas. So I will definitely pick some up when they're like, half off or I don't know even 20% off I don't know I do love the formula of the body butters um yeah so I am going to repurchase but not this scent moving on next to my favorite current moisturizer which is the Clinique Dra Dramatically Different Lotion Plus I absolutely love the shit out of this um I think I pay $50 for this big um this big tube and I have tried other things that are supposed to be um comparable to this and it hasn't, my skin hasn't loved it just as much as this. So I absolutely love this. And um, I haven't tried the new one where you can put the serum in it. I've heard a lot of bad things about that. So I did go out and I did already repurchase this. I've replaced, repurchased. I've replaced this already. I love it. I won't be without it. If you can suggest something that's better but cheaper, I'll definitely have a go. But right now, right now this is my ride or die. So... Next up, I have a tried and true favourite. It is just a deodorant. If you watch any of my other videos, you'd already know that I use this Dove Original. Um, this is the only thing that sort of uh, stops my sweating. I do sweat quite a lot. I hate it. Um, not only does this help stop me from sweating, but it also masks my sweat when uh, I do sweat, which... It's, it's it's pretty wrong. Nothing else has ever been able to sort of fight it for me. So I, I will use this under the arms and then I'll use a body spray over the top of the body to if I want beautiful smells because this is pretty basic, kind of smells like baby powder. So, you know, whatever. But love it, have replaced it. I've got like five bottles of it already. So in different parts of the house, so I can just grab it whenever I want. Next up is a weird product. And while I don't hate it, I wouldn't go out and repurchase it because... Well, I've got no need for it for one. I, I would never use it, but I really don't think that it does that much anyway. And that is this uh, Ocean Waves Sea Salt Spray from the brand John 
Freida, I think that's how you say it. So you're supposed to spray this in your hair, scrunch it up, and it's supposed to give you that sort of like, I've been to the beach, my hair got wet kind of look. But <laughs> for me, it's just, I don't know, it looks like I, um, I took a nap on a hot summer day and I got sweaty and this is what my hair looks like when I got up. The only thing I liked about it was the smell. Um, it also said that it texturizes a little bit. I didn't find that it texturized at all. Um, the only thing that I would use this for, uh, if I was ever going to use this again, if I unfortunately happened to get another sample of this, is if, like, um, I don't know, it was a hot summer day or something like that, I'd already been sweating but I wanted my hair to smell nice and I wanted to cool down, and this was in my handbag, I'd definitely spray this through the hair, uh, but for its intended purpose I think it's rubbish so unfortunately it doesn't work for me maybe it works for somebody else but I don't like this product at all so mm. moving on next thing I'm going to talk about is my favorite 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 mascara which is the essence lash princess false lash effect this is the green one this is my favorite the other ones are okay but I think this one is definitely the best out of the entire line and unfortunately my three-year-old got a hold of this and I had a clear lip gloss which will be coming up. Um, he unfortunately took the lid off this, took the lid off my brand new lip gloss, shoved the lip gloss stick in there, snapped it off and smashed the uh, stick back in there and made a... Um, a balmy mascara. So I can't use this. I love it. Um, I only usually have one mascara going at the time. I will uh, buy another one of these, but I need to get through the mascara that I'm using at the moment. So it's a bit of a bummer, but it is what it is. Next product I want to talk to you guys about is the Hask Keratin Protein Deep Conditioning Conditioner. I guess this, this is more like a hair mask um, than a conditioner. I absolutely love Hask hair products. I actually want to reach out to them and ask them if they could please make their keratin scent into like a body wash. Otherwise, I'm just going to go out and buy the shampoo. I'm going to use it for my hair and I'm going to use it as a body wash. I don't care. I absolutely love the smell of this. This is no different. I mean, mm, oh my gosh. The shampoo actually smells far better than the conditioner. I want to be straight with you there. But this, my hair felt amazing after this. And my hair never feels amazing. So absolutely love this definitely we will repurchase this in the future but I do love the shampoo better than the deep conditioning mask still a fantastic product next thing we're going to talk about is something that I absolutely detest and it's in this baggie because it comes with some sort of weird cloth thing and that is the Eve and Lom um, cleanser it's a cream cleanser now, um, I I didn't like this at all unfortunately I got this as a sample I think it was in a Mecca box yeah I think it was in a Mecca box, I got a sample of this, and it goes on kind of like um, fermented milk. It's it's disgusting. It's uh, it's chunky, and I think, I think it's supposed to be chunky. I don't think that it's turned bad. I think it's supposed to be chunky to help kind of scrub the makeup off the face or... I don't know, but it's really gross. It's not very good at doing anything. Uh, it doesn't move the makeup very well. Um, I don't use waterproof makeup. My makeup comes off just like that with my regular um, cleansing oil. I just, I found it messy. I found it annoying. And um, this little, even using the uh, the cloth that came with it, I think, it's, yeah, the cloth that came with it, um, even that didn't help get the makeup off. Oh yeah, and it burned the shit out of my eyes as well. So I really don't like that. Unfortunately, maybe somebody else will have a better go at it. Maybe somebody with oily skin. Um, but I really didn't enjoy that. And that was from Eve, Eve Lom, I think. I've never heard of the brand, to be honest with you. So there's that. I won't repurchase that. Next thing I want to talk about is another sample that I got, which is from the brand Go To, And um, this is a... What are you? It's called Face Hero. It's a powerful and protective face oil. Um, I've never used a face oil before. I only use uh, serums. It was oily. Um, I wouldn't put this on in the morning because your skin looks oily after you use it. Even an hour later, two hours later, I did put this on um, at bedtime, which I kind of regretted because, you know... When I wanted to roll over and go to sleep, I felt like this was going to seep into my bedding. Um, I don't know. I thought I would like this more. I thought, oh yeah, an oil, that'd be great for my dry skin, but... Mm, I didn't love this, so I wouldn't repurchase this again. 
I do want to try some more oils to see whether um, this was just not a great product for me, but um, I didn't like this, but I, I've got nothing to compare it against, so I can't tell you whether it's a good product or not. I can just tell you that it stays on the face oily for quite some time, and it looks oily, but like not a good way, not like clean oil, kind of like you've just been sweating a shitload and I no longer have dry skin, now I have oily combination skin. You know, that's what it looks like and I don't like it, so. Moving on to the next mask. Um, I don't remember how I feel about this mask, unfortunately. It's been too long. I've really got to start writing these things down when I do put them in my empties. However, I do have a video of this, so I'll link it up here. If it's not linked up there, you can find it in my mask playlists. Um, yeah, unfortunately I don't remember. I think I liked it. I think I did. I, I, I don't know guys, but I used it and um, I normally like most Korean skincare, so I don't know. Bugger. I'll let you know in the comments below. Next thing I want to talk about is this Schwarz, Schwarzkopf, I can't say it probably, Schwarzkopf, uh, Extra Care Hair Styling Strong Styling Hairspray. Um, it's number four out of five strong. Yeah, I would say that it is definitely strong, but it's that, that kind of hairspray that definitely will make your hair crunchy. Um, so if you are not worried about that, then great. But this little jar, I probably only... Honestly, I don't put that much hairspray in my hair and I probably only got three goes out of this. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, so I actually would try another brand before I go back to this one. So I just didn't feel like I got my money's worth out of this one. And I think that there's better formulas out there. So I'm not saying that it's bad, but it's not my favorite. So next we're going to go to uh, my current favorite primer. And that is the Too Faced Hangover RX primer. I love this stuff. I do see a very, very slight, but it is a difference when I use this. If I don't use any primer at all, or I use, um, like, let's say Maybelline or something like that, my skin still looks dry, doesn't look dewy. Uh, when I use this, not only do I love the smell of it, it's very mild, um, but my, my makeup does look dewy after it, and um, that's what I want. So it feels like a moisturizer when it's going on, and um, yeah, I think it just works really well for me. So I love this, and I will replace it. I just don't like the price, so I'm... I will replace it, but I think I want to try some other things first. All right, next thing we're going to move on to, and this is the, uh, unfortunately, this is the lip balm that I want to talk to you about. I don't know if you can see there, but the mascara that's sitting in the top of that. This is the Revlon Kiss Balm. This is not a cheap lip balm for drugstore. I think I paid nine or $10 for this little guy. Um, this is, a, I think it's, this is the coconut flavor, hang on. Yeah, tropical coconut. So you do get a lot of bang for your buck with these. These are fantastic. I absolutely love them. They come in quite a few different scents, flavors, whatever you want to call it. But um, they're colored as well. So this is re this one and the apple one is probably the only one that I'd really buy and wear um, because I don't like that sort of pink tint to my lips or anything like that. If I wanted to tint my lips, I definitely will buy a lipstick for that. But I think this is fantastic. I just like to use this underneath um, liquid lips. I'd like to keep this in my bag. I use it at home, whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, my toddler unfortunately got to this and snapped it off inside the mascara. So that is gone. The other two things that I want to talk to you about um, are samples. I don't have them on me right now, but one of them is the Hourglass Veil uh, Face Primer, and I absolutely love this. I've used it twice now. Um, I definitely should pick myself up some. The only thing that I've got a problem with is the price. I don't know. I just don't know if... I don't know whether I can um, justify the cost for the primer. Uh, I mean, I have a hard enough time spending the amount of money that I do on the Too Faced one for that price, and the Hourglass one is much more expensive than that. So, um, if it goes on special, I'll definitely pick it up, but I don't think that I'll pay full price for it, so, unfortunately. The other thing is the NARS Smudge Proof um, Eyeshadow Base. I think that's what it's called. Um, it worked great. Uh, for an eyeshadow uh, primer, it's a fantastic product. Um, Will I go out and buy it though? I don't think I don't think I would, especially full price. Uh, while I think it definitely does work, I don't do I don't know bold enough looks, or I don't need my makeup to last super long periods of time for me to justify spending that kind of money on a primer when my um, or eyeshadow base when my concealers do um, 
yeah, I don't know. I like it. I think it's fantastic. Um, and I did say in my last video that I was going to try it underneath the eye before I put my concealer on to see whether um, it stops concealer from going into fine lines. And I can tell you that that was a big fucking mistake. I will never, ever, ever put eyeshadow primer underneath my eyes again. It made me look crunchy. It made me look four times as old. It was horrendous. That did not work for me. So if it works for you guys, beautiful. Let me know your secret. But it definitely didn't work with me, especially not with that NARS um, eyeshadow base. So yeah, um, I think we're out of products to talk about this month, guys. So I do hope that you guys enjoyed the video. And um, if you're new to my channel and you want to see more of these types of videos, I try and pump out as many as I can. It's a little bit difficult at the moment. I'm trying to get my routine involved. So if you are new to my channel and you want to see more, don't forget to click that subscribe button. But like I say to everybody, if you're going to hit the subscribe button and you don't want to miss out on seeing any of my videos, don't forget to check the bell. Um, if you did like this video and you want to see more of those, please give me a thumbs up so I can pump out more of this content. And uh, yeah, if you want to chat with me, guys, Hit me down below. Unfortunately, I don't have the community tab yet, which I think is completely ridiculous. You shouldn't need a thousand subscribers to be able to talk to your subscribers, but it is what it is. Otherwise, if you want to talk to me, I'm also predominantly on Instagram. I also have Facebook. I have uh, Snapchat. I have Twitter. I have all the socials, but YouTube and Instagram and Facebook is usually where I am the most, more so Instagram and uh, YouTube. So anyway, I hope you like what you saw and I hope you uh, check back to see my other videos. Bye, guys.